Oh, hey everybody, I just posted on Oakland News Now, um, Oakland Council Member Lynette Gibson McElhaney's um, announcement that the governor issued a stay in order. Here is an MSNBC uh, vlogger who is in Oakland, never heard of him named Jay Ward, but whatever, here we go. Uh, a little delay here, but let's see what's going on. We're in Oakland, California. Up until now, we were a part of a small cluster of counties that have been abiding by a shelter-in-place order, but now that has been extended across the state. What does that mean? Shelter-in-place basically means you have to stay in your house unless you're uh, in some sort of essential activity. That includes things like if you're sick, you go to the hospital. If you need groceries, you go to the grocery store. If you need drugs, go to the pharmacy. Um, but it also includes the right to go outside. Uh, you're allowed to exercise outside by yourself or a small group. You just can't congregate with others. But the thing to consider here is this isn't just sort of a recommendation. This is a legally enforceable order. And anyone who doesn't abide by it can be prosecuted. But the point here is not to get anyone in trouble. The point, of course, is to keep all Californians safe by keeping us separate from one another. This is Dave Gutierrez in Brooklyn, where people have been lining up throughout the day to get inside one of those tents that have been popping up at hospitals across the country. They're waiting to get pre-screened to see if they meet the criteria for a COVID-19 test. Health workers tell us that if these crowds keep growing, they'll eventually run out of medical supplies, including protective masks and ventilators. Tonight, the American Hospital Association is calling on Congress to act saying it needs $100 billion to deal with this emergency. Okay, I'm putting that on freeze, but I just wanted to, you to see that uh, from Oakland. And uh, stay tuned and subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.